my YouTube journey. Paano ko na-achieve ang 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours? Five reasons and one bonus tip at the end of this video. I suggest please watch the video from start to end. Are you ready to watch the full video? If yes, so let's get started. Welcome back to our video. Before I tell you the five reasons and one bonus tip, Bakit ko na-achieve ang 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours? Reasons bakit ko ginawa ang video ito. Number one, I want to help and inspire small YouTubers like me. And number two reason, ito yung promise ko sa mga subscribers and viewers ko na magawa ako ng video about this yung how I achieve this journey na naging successful ako na ma-achieve ang 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hour okay so hope you will like our video content so let's get started five reasons are the following reason number one commitment Yes, friends, I have commitment in doing a good video for my viewers and subscribers. Not only good video, but helpful video and educational video like this. So yan, makikita ninyo. May example tayo na tatlong video na ginawa ko. So, nag nagabigay ako ng tips sa students. Nagabigay ako ng educational videos to employees. And nagabigay ako ng video sa mga business owners. Okay? Moving forward to reason number two. Consistency. Yes, friends, if you are a small YouTuber, it is very important na consistent tayo magawa ng YouTube video. I suggest you create and upload videos in a weekly basis. Kung pwede, once a week. If not, twice a week. It is very important na consistent tayo. Kasi ang paggawa ng YouTube video and pag-grow sa YouTube channel natin is like building a habit. It's like exercise. So once na mag-exercise tayo in a daily basis, meron tayong result. Papayat talaga tayo mag magkaroon ng muscle pag consistent tayo sa exercise. daily exercises if hindi tayo consistent wala tayong improvement sa ating health sa ating pagpapayat at pagka muscle ganon din sa youtube channel kailangan consistent tayo na magawa ng youtube videos para meron tayong growth and improvement kasi yan yung ginatingnan din ng youtube Ginatingnan nila kung consistent ka na YouTuber. And they will appreciate that and recognize that. And as a result, yung mga videos mo will be promoted sa YouTube. Alright? So, moving forward to reason number three. Connectivity. Yes, friends. When I started my YouTube channel, what I did was... Connectivity. So, meron akong strategy na mag-connect 
to other people from other countries. What I did is ito. Gumawa ako ng group page called Motivators. Ako yung founder nito. My objective is to connect people around the globe. So, itong group page ko na Motivators, ang uh, mga members niyan is from Singapore, Canada, Bangladesh, Pakistan, UK, to name a few. So, after na-create ko yung group page na yan, so nagkaroon ako ng mga connection to other people. So, every time na may YouTube video ako, dyan ko ginapromote ang YouTube link sa group page ko. As of this time, meron na akong 1,000 members sa group page na yan. So, very beneficial kung may connection tayo or connectivity to other people. Kasi ma-promote natin ang YouTube videos natin. And not only that, uh, gawa kayo ng group chat also sa mga subscribers mo na identified subscribers and viewers. And from that, every time na may YouTube video ka, dyan mo i-forward yung YouTube link para makapanood sila sa videos mo. And as a result, mag-increase talaga yung subscribers mo tsaka watch hours mo. Okay? So, moving forward to reason number four, creativity. So, it is important, friends, kung small YouTuber kayo, I suggest be cre creative. Gawa kayo ng colorful thumbnail. Kagaya nito. Yan. Kailangan colorful yung YouTube thumbnail mo para attention grabbing sa mga viewers and subscribers. So, pag makita nila na maganda yung thumbnail, there's a big chance na mag-click sila and panoorin ang video mo. And not only that, hindi lang sa YouTube thumbnail, but also the content. Kailangan creative ka. I suggest, concise lang din yung video mo. Concise but complete. Most of my videos are 10 minutes or less. So, naging creative ako sa paggawa ng video na concise. Kasi yung mga viewers natin, they like is yung mga concise video. Ayaw nila yung mahaba na video. Okay? Moving forward to reason number 5. Prayers. Yan yung pinaka best ko na na strategy. Talking to God, asking help to Him na sana mag-grow yung YouTube channel ko. Everyday nag-pray ako sa Kanya kasi that is really helpful, friends. Kailangan mag-ask ka ng help kay God because to God, there is no impossible. All is possible and tutulungan ka talaga ni Lord and ni God once na you pray for your YouTube channel to grow. Okay? So friends, hope na nagbigay ako ng tips sa inyo and strategies and knowledge para mag-grow yung YouTube channel ninyo. But before I end my video, as promised, I have one bonus tip to you. And this is it. Ang bonus tip ko sa inyo is always know your top 3 videos. How to know your top 3 videos sa YouTube channel mo? Punta ka sa YouTube studio. Very important na malaman mo yung top 3 videos mo. Kasi when you know your top 3 videos, you will know your niche. You will know your top viewers. And dan, dyan ka focus kung ano ang gusto nila. Kasi panoorin talaga nila yung video mo. Magkaroon ka ng maraming subscribers and viewers. Uh, tsaka yung watch hour mo. 
In my case, I, I determine and identify my top three videos. And these are the following. Top one ko is SRI 2021. Today, meron na siyang 59k views or 59,000 views. My top two is class reporting tips. 38k or 38,000 views. And top three is oral recitation tips. 6k or 6,000 viewers. So friends, now you know my YouTube journey. Sana nakabigay ako ng inspiration sa inyo. Sana you like this video content. And thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe at my YouTube channel para updated kayo sa next video ko. Weekly videos. I will give you more good videos, helpful videos, and informative videos for you. Thank you. God bless. And two thumbs up.